Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Night Safari as well as the animal presentation entitled Creatures of the Night. Are you guys ready for the show? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Creatures of the Night will be on the prowl. As the night falls, two will, one of sunlight, the other moonlight, blend into one. Animals like the common raccoon comes out in search for food before heading home for the night. Using its sharp claws, it searches for its favorite insects, worms, snails, and even the prized eggs. When satisfied, he will return back to his big raccoon family and curl up in a safe barrel for the night. As daytime animals settle down to sleep, the forest comes to life. Hidden among the shadows, nocturnal animals emerge from the dark silhouette of the forest. With a body stripe to provide perfect camouflage, a fishing cat appears along the riverbed. This animal loves to swim and dive underwater in search for its food. It has a layer of fur so short and dense that water cannot penetrate through it. It's also this layer that helps keep them warm and dry even in chilly water. Sad to say, this animal is not doing so well in the wild because of habitat loss as well as poaching. It's our duty to protect this quiet hunter before it disappears forever. Well, once again, a very good evening everyone and welcome to the world of the night hunters. Now, what we ask how do nocturnal animals survive in the dark? But all our animals have unique adaptations for survival in the wild. For example, the Bintero! Jet black in color and almost invisible at night. This animal has an amazing sense of smell and it can be found in the rainforest of Southeast Asia. Everyone, this is Narnia and Narnia is our Bintero, also known as the Asian bear cat because of the bear-like walk and also their stubby legs, along with his favorite trainer, Mr. Zuhairi. Our Bintero are also known for their prehensile tail. The long tails actually act as an additional limb. And it's so strong that it's able to support the entire body weight as they hang down from the branches of the tree. Now in fact, Narnia here weighs about 14 kilograms, so you can just imagine how strong that tail is. Now ladies, you might want to listen up to this. The females are the dominant sex in the species and they make it up to 20% heavier than their males. Besides fruits, these animals are also feast on fishes as well as other small mammals. And it looks like Narnia is going home. So bye bye Narnia. Bye bye. Thank you, Mr. Zuhairi. Pintuals, just like the civets, they have an excellent sense of smell. While other animals, they rely on other adaptations to survive in the night. For example, the hearing, like the owl. Now, if you take a look on my right hand side, uh, this is Oscar, and Oscar is our Eurasian eagle owl. Carried by Miss Candy. Eurasian eagle owls can be found in the Europe and Asia continent, hence their name, and they're one of the largest species of owls that can be found in the world. Now, if I turn attention towards my left hand side, now this is Midnight, and Midnight is the Malay fish owl, carried by Miss Shadini. Malay fish owls can be found in the Southeast Asia region, especially right here in Singapore, and also Malaysia and the Philippines as well. I'm going to ask you a question. Would you all believe me if I were to say that owls are one of the quietest raptors in the world? Yes. Would you all believe me? Yes. yes, I hear a few no's, it doesn't matter. So what Midnight is going to do is it's going to fly across the amphitheater and land on that green stump over on my right. But in order for Midnight to do that, I'm going to need all of you to remain seated and also once again to please turn off your flashes. Alright, 
tonight, whenever you're ready, let's go. You want to give a round of applause for Midnight? Thank you, Midnight. That was a very beautiful flight. You might have noticed that he was very silent when he flew across over your head. And that's because owls, they are soft and wing tips at the edges of their wings, which allows them to be as quiet as possible. Another reason for this is because their main characters, but their main source of prey will be rodents. And rodents, they have a very high sense, keen sense of hearing. So these animals, they have got to be as quiet as possible. Now with that said, let's give a round of applause for Midnight as well as Colony. Thank you. Thank you, Midnight. If you might have noticed that Oscar is still here, you might be wondering why. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. You can shout out the answers if you know how many degrees you think an hour can turn the state up to. 360, any more answers? 270, any more? 180. Now the correct answer is 270 degrees. Now if it was 360 degrees, this will be a horror show by now because the owl's head will be completely detached from its body. The reason why they can turn 270 degrees is very simple. Now you see, our eyeballs, we can move up and down as well as left and right. Owls, they can't do that. So in order to compensate for it, they have to turn 270 degrees. But enough of me talking. Do you want to see Oscar do it? Yes! All I can do whenever you're ready. Oh. <laughs> and there we go! I think we're going to try it one more time. <laughs> and there we go! Thank you, Oscar and Kenzie. As I mentioned earlier, Eurasian eagle owls are one of the largest species of owls we have in the world. Now, in fact, their wingspan can hit up to 6 feet in length. And that is equivalent to a fully grown male. So if you're lucky, you might be able to see Oscar demonstrate his beautiful wing. There we go. Now Oscar here also weighs about 2 kilograms. So it's quite heavy. So Kenzie here is also a very strong lady as well. Once again, a round of applause for Oscar as well as Kenzie. Thank you. The next animal coming out, we are going to actually the grasslands of Africa. And this animal is also very cute. It has large ears and is also one of the smallest species of canines in the world. If you turn your attention towards the right hand side, you'll be able to spot the animal coming out. Meanwhile, I'm just going to fade back into the shadow. Everyone, this is Foxtrot and the Foxtrot is our planet Fox. Fennec foxes are one of the smallest canine species we have in the world. And if you take a look at Foxtrot, you might think that he's a baby. He is actually a fully grown adult male. Now he's about 3 years old and this is the maximum growth that Foxtrot can grow up to. Now take a look at his ears and you might notice that he has large ears which allows him to hear for its prey which will include small insects as well as mammals. Do take a look at their paws, now you notice that it's padded. It chews them down when they walk in the hot sunny sand. And it also allows them to keep their paws warm at night. Fed and foxes can jump twice their size vertically as well as horizontally. And this actually enables them to escape from their prey. Now everyone, this is Kovitra, his favorite trainer. So just the last few pictures before he goes back. Thank you, Foxtra. Thank you, Kovitra. Oh no, he came out. Okay, bye-bye. From one of the smallest species of carnivores in Africa, we'll move on to meet one of the largest and fiercest carnivores that we have. In order for the next segment to begin, please remain seated. The largest carnivore that can be found in the African continent, this animal has an amazing sense of smell so strong that it's able to detect carcasses from many miles away. Spotted oh, hyenas are one of the largest species of hyenas we have in the world. They also have powerful jaws which allow them to crush the bones of their prey, including those of an elephant. They also have a very powerful digestive system, allowing them to digest the skin, the teeth, the bones, and even the hoof of their prey. Hyenas 
have now a chart which allows them to run for long distances in search for their prey. And many of you might think that they are closely related to the dogs because of their canine-like features. But these animals are actually more closely related to the cat. And speaking of cats, we will be joined by a very beautiful and slender looking feline. For these animals, just like the hyenas, they can be found in the grasslands of Africa. Cash are very beautiful and slender looking servos. The servos actually resemble a miniature cheetah except for their relatively short tail. They also have long and slender forepaws that allow them to dig into the burrow for their food. In fact, these animals also can jump out to 10 to 15 feet into the air in the wall to catch a low flying bird that is slow to take off from the ground. Circling around, eyes on the target, and there we go! Round of applause for Cash as far as from Miss Kimpy. Thank you guys so much. Now if you take a look at the back of the servos ears, now you might notice that they have black and white markings. Now those are known as ocelite markings and they actually serve as a natural deterrent against predators in the wild. Now you see, it also acts like eyes in the dark and it prevents other animals from sneaking up from behind them and try to catch them unnoticed. Unfortunately, she just like any other servos, 300 different species of animals will go extinct. Oh, hi Toffee. Hello. Everyone, this is Toffee, the raccoon that you saw earlier on. Now you can be found in North America. Happy, do you want to say hello? But unfortunately for them, these animals are actually considered a pest in their own country. Now why is that so? And that's because they like to go into other people's homes and invade their garbage bins and topple them just like this. Yes, now you say hello. <laughs> now Toffee, just like other raccoons, they can be found they can be found in different colours, such as cream and also black as well as white. But if you take a close look at its eyes, now you notice that it's brown. You wanna say bye bye Toffee? That was very rude, you know. Okay, never mind. As I was saying, his eyes are brown, so he is not a vino at all because a vino animals would have eight eyes. Now let's just see what caught Toffee's attention, alright? Now it looks like we have plastic bottles and we also have tin cans and a paper cutter. Now all these items have one thing in common and that is they can be re... Come on guys, they can be re... That is right. Now, fortunately, all these items, they can actually disappear if we choose to use this recyclable plastic water bottle. They can be found in the retail shop outside of the next safari. However, I will not be doing the recycling at all. Thank you, Shalini. Now, instead, I'll be joined by two very adorable sisters. Now, their names are Bubbles and Bailey. They are very cute. They are Asian smoker authors. And they are only two years old. So, we're just going to give them a bit of time. Oh, there they are. Hello again, Kenzie. Looks like I'm seeing a lot of you today. <laughs> okay, now the one that is reciting the tin can, that is my favourite. Now, that is... Um, bubble. Now the one that is recycling is going to recycle the plastic bottle. Now that will be baby. Bubbles! <laughs> you wanna come back? You wanna come into the you wanna come and recycle? You wanna come and recycle first? Oh there you are! Hi baby! Yes, 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 come on, come on. We can recycle juggling contest, not with, sorry, recycling contest, not juggling contest. There you go. Can I go back home? You bring in a plastic bottle as well. Okay, I'm getting the paper carton I should do myself. Okay, it looks like I have to do it myself, it's okay. Everyone, the paper carton, does it go into aluminium? No. Come on guys, does it go into aluminium? No. How about plastic? No. How about others? Yes. That's right, like even though bubbles and daily are very small, they actually teach us a very important message and that is to reduce, reuse and recycle. recycle, that is right. 
Our journey through the night has come to an end, but let us not forget the lessons that we have learned. From the owls in the sky, to the raccoons on the forest path, to even the bintong on the branch, they actually all teach us a very important lesson, and that is not to forget their cousins in the world. Now remember, all of us here can make a difference, it's just the choice of difference you want to make. The greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will actually save it for us. Now with that said, I come to the end of the animal presentation right here at the night safari. All of you have been such wonderful and great audience. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye! Bye! Please remain seated and wait for presenters of Operation Friends to call out to your role to exit. Now we'll direct you to the exit point, and once you have exited from the amphitheater, please do remember to practice social distancing by keeping at least one meter away from the next group of guests. With that, thank you for your understanding, stay healthy, and take care.